Hey YouTube, welcome to another computing related video here at LBX Computer Services. Before you is an Ata Power 4000. It was salvaged from my works office that was being closed and this is genuinely the very first boot up I'm going to perform on it since bringing it home. So this is the very first power up since bringing it home, genuinely. I've plugged in to this surge protected multi gang extension. The monitor is alive, the standby light is on. And uh, in the words of UXW Bill, smoke test! Signs of life. Nothing's gone pop. Oh, and there's a splash screen. Enter setup. Press Control Alt and Escape key. Um, yeah, so the CMOS battery is bad, which is a little bit expected. So that's okay. Let's just go down through some of these options, shall we? System information. It is a Celeron 116 megahertz, which I would anticipate being totally and utterly incorrect. There is 256 megabytes of RAM, which surprises me because I know the other machine that we've got from at work, which is the same model, has only got 64 megabytes of RAM. Uh, a 6 gig hard drive uh, okay USB is disabled product information uh, okay the BIOS is version 3 basic configuration it thinks it's 1997 so yep that's probably the earliest date this BIOS goes to CPU clock mix match Equipment configuration error. Well, that might explain the one three something megahertz on the Celeron. F1 key to continue. That's an Adaptex SCSI controller, processor speed one three three, and Windows ninety eight. Finally. Just whilst we're waiting here, I haven't plugged the SCSI CD-ROM drive that I also got with this. That's uh, downstairs waiting to be added on. This PC is a bit of a, for a bit of a history was a scan file machine. It basically was used to archive paper documents, scan them in, and store them onto disks, and then you'd have a database software to. Uh, to tell you what disk a particular document is stored on and then it would load that document up and you'd be able to page through it. Uh, it's been replaced by many other pieces of software and finally we've been able to discard this machine because the documents on it are too old to be concerned about. I wonder if I can escape the C drive scan of the hard drive. The last time the virus definitions, I don't know if you saw there, was from 2003, so that gives you some sort of indication of when this machine was last used. 2003, it's now 2016, so 13 years at least, or around. The other machine we've got, like this, which is a full Pentium 3, I believe, and also has 64 four megabytes of RAM is used more frequently. Okay, we're on the Windows desktop. Let's go and check out the hardware roster. Right, the system is Windows 98, obviously. It's the first edition. Second edition would have a 2222 on the version string. It's the original Acer installation of Windows 98. And this Celeron processor has been detected as a Pentium 2. 
The 256 megabytes of RAM is being detected, however. Okay, so let's go down the hardware roster itself. Other than the usual CD-ROM drive and whatnot, there's a Rage Pro Turbo AGP-based graphics card. I do know that to be on board. I'll go and find out the memory size shortly. There are some parallel cable modems on the printer port, which must have been used for some data transfer at some point in the past. The network adapter is a 3 comma the link 3, which you can tell really from the backplate design. The SCSI controller for the external SCSI CD-ROM drive is an AHA1510 SCSI host adapter by Adaptec. And I think it to be an Intel based chipset on the mainboard. Unfortunately DirectX isn't installed so I can't run DXDiag to have a look at the video hardware in more detail. The hard drive is virtually full. It's a 6 gig drive in total and it's just over half a gig free. Right, I've had a look around and the newest file I can find is dated 1st of December 2003 leading me to believe that this is the last date it was used for anything productive. Alright guys, that's pretty much it for exploring Windows 98 installed on this computer. Please join me next time and I will take you inside the computer and we'll see what makes it tick.